day to day life, you can be in that. Being in day to day life. Yogi path is something different. Those who are yogis, they have achieved samadhi. But uh, not uh, the. Being. Actually, I already clarified that. See, it goes by the rightness of the person. If there are still outward tendencies pulling the person outward, they cannot anyway meditate. You take them to any yoga school, they can't do it. They have to engage in the world. So they will ask, so what should we do? For them, karma yoga is prescribed. You do, anyway you are outward bound. You have to perform activity. So perform your activity by imbibing these particular qualities. You have to follow your Swadharma, you have to be inclined to your Bhats, there are some, some, so many concepts in the Gita. So you have, you are anyway outward bound, you, are, you have not yet become meditative. So you follow Karma Yoga. Following Karma Yoga, following the path of Karma itself, you can reach meditativeness. Once you reach meditativeness, you will sit on your own, nobody has to tell you. So when you say Yogi, I think you are referring to only people who are sitting and meditating. Person who is performing activity with the intention of emptying his vasanas is also a yogi. If you are performing activity unconsciously, simply acting, 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 you are accruing more vasanas, more samskaras. You are not emptying yourself. That is karma roga. Disease of karma. Simply acting. Workaholic. If you bring in some awareness in your activity, if you realize I am acting to empty myself, not to achieve anything. You will use activity as a means to exhaust yourself of your restlessness. So after some time, that restlessness should go away and the person should become meditative. That is why there is something called Vanaprastha. After Grahastha Sharma, they have to withdraw. There is an age to express your outward tendencies. You have to try to exhaust it as much as possible there. After that, you have to move towards Vanaprastha and Sanyasa Ashrama. Four stages of them. So Karma Yoga means following that all four in the sequence. You go do student life and then householder life and then do retired life and then do renounced life. Those people who argue, according to Shastra, you have to go through Brahma Grahastha Ashrama. Tell them there is Vanaprastha also after that. Nobody is following Vanaprastha. Grahastha Ashrama nice nicely. <laughs> Vanaprastha doesn't mean going to forest. It is withdrawal. Wherever you are, you have to reduce. After that, you, there are many rules. You should not comb your hair, no makeup, you should eat less food, no spice. Many rules are there. That is path of Karma Yoga. You exhausted yourself systematically in Grahastha Ashrama. Then you have to become a little meditative. And then renounce your family members also. That is the stages, four stages. No, why are you holding on only Grahastha Ashrama? If you are following Grahastha Ashrama, follow the other two also. <laughs> ah, half are following. Anyway, that is not the only path. Karma, that is Karma Yoga path. If you are not ripe enough, you have to do that. But for some people, in very young age, they will see they are very ripe. They will be very mature. And in these 130 people, do you think all are equally mature? So when the person is very mature at a young age, they don't have to go through the same nonsense again. They don't have to go through Grahastha Ashrama Vanaprastha, they will be directly even Sanyasa. They will dedicate their life completely to that inward inquiry, everything. That is Sanyasa. That is the path of, in Bhagavad Gita, it is called as Sangha Yoga, Nyaya Yoga, whatever. So some people will go through Grahastha Ashrama and then come there. Some people will directly go there because they are already saturated for some reason. They are not interested. 